guess where I am? Coach, coach, coach. The boutique, flagship boutique here in Dallas. And they have, they have um, set it up for the holidays. I think this is the holiday floor set. White pillars, this gl glistening glittery fox, which is super cute. While we're looking at this, just wanted to hope everyone has been having a great, great week so far. It's a nice puffer. That is so attractive to me. I love when the displays look as great as the bags. Well, nothing looks as good as the bags, but I mean, I like when the displays look really great because they're able to display the bags and the wallets and the apparel and stuff very well. All right, so come in with me. I hope y'all are doing great. Thanks for watching my videos on the other side of that. So we've got a couple of new styles. We have the soft tabby hobo. We have some new colors, sage, and red apple. We've already seen the um, Amazon green. We'll look at this Christmassy looking thing here. I think it was really smart of them to bring out Amazon green right before the holidays. I always forget the name of that style. But this is the soft tabby shoulder bag in sage. Really pretty. A new color, Amazon green. Black. Sage and Amazon green in this style again. Displays look really great too. That snow on the background there. Should be able to see it better if I step away from the wall, but I'm a little too close so you can't really see the graphics back there. But anyway, here are the bags. That's for the tabby, by the way. They still got the tabby being sold. So they have the C's displayed here because you can change out the C. But here is the soft tabby. I don't know why in the world they named this the soft tabby hobo. We've already had a tabby hobo. Why did it just, the coach just stays trying to confuse their consumers, their clients, customers. Sage, which is gorgeous. I just learned that this is not supposed to even be out yet. It was supposed to come out in December. This one is so soft. It's so soft. You see how soft this looks? It feels that soft too. And this is the one that has the interesting handle. The mechanism here, the C turns. I think you can see it better on this gold. It actually turns with, turns with the, um, the strap. Here's the interior, 1941 interior. I guess they're putting it on most bags now. But I like that much better than the um, the regular cotton that they have anyway, so it's all good. Let's see if we can unzip this. If I can unzip it with one hand, that means that it's a pretty good zipper. Uh -oh. Alright, we've got soft tabbies, $3.95. And I will zip it up one second. Let me go try it on since I'm right next to a mirror. I love when we're close to the holidays because they start adding glistening. Oh, you can't see it. You can see it a little. We've got glistening detail there, like glistening thread there. Willows. I really like how this looks. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my Cave. Is this Cave? This is Cave, yeah. Cave sweatshirt. <laughs> really cute with my Tims. Even though I'm not in New York, I love the mess out of Tims. Because they're so comfortable and cute. I like how this feels. Let me take it off and wear it as a shoulder bag but it's it's super soft it's hugs the body 
It's a pretty decent size. I don't generally wear hobos this big or crossbody, not crossbody. One second. But as a hobo, oh, and that fit very easily. This is cute, guys. It feels good. It's soft. It feels great. Let's check the elbow test again. And my arms are long. Look at that. Easy. See that? That's nice. When my arms can get through something. Look at this. This is cute. This is cute. All right. This is a thumbs up in my opinion, especially this one. The Sage Soft Tabby Hobo is not as um as soft, but this one, y'all know me as soft leathers. I love the mess out of soft leathers. Okay, so this is a winner in my opinion. And again, I love that they brought back the vintage-esque, the vintage like um, straps, love that. And I do kind of like this, it's so different, so different. So I'm liking the soft tabby hobo and the soft tabby shoulder bag, I do like those. Those might end up in my collection eventually. They may. So that's this side over here. And I did not fail to look at this. Look at all this signature. For those who don't like signature, sorry. Here is the new signature uh, studio wallet. Cute. Studio bag is not here yet in this location. But I do see how the class would work not too not too difficult at all i was actually worried about this i think the studio bag also has a key but i'm just pushing that in and doing it with one hand so gives me hope that the bag should also be pretty easy to deal with what is this this is nice what is this that's a nice thing that you can even put a chain a dinky chain in there like Close the dinky chain completely first and then, or even a smaller chain, something like that. And um, clip it together, both clips together, and then kind of just drape the bag, the wallet or whatever this is, on top. And you can wear this as a crossbody, if that makes sense. Tiny cash in, fill tote, big fill tote, willow, boots, leather. By the way, this is styrofoam. Oh, and you can see right here. Really styrofoam looks so good. Mm -hmm. And here are the rogues. They switch stuff. The rogues used to be on the other side, but now they're here. And fill totes. There's that shearling. The shearling, what you call it? The rogue tote. The jacquard rogue tote. 39 up there, 17 and 25. Here's the buttercup. Oh, I just discovered today. I was I haven't looked at this very closely because I'm not into the I'm not into the um, handles very much. However, I just looked on the bottom today and realized that this is original gloved hand leather, which actually happens to be a lot softer than regular gloved hand leather. I discovered that last time I was here too because I looked at the swingers, the original gloved hand swingers, which are the newest ones with the chain that looks like the beat chain. I looked at those and I noticed that they were so much softer than the um, the rather regular gloved hand swingers. See this right here is just genuine gloved hand leather. This is original gloved hand leather. This is so much more soft and feels so much more luxe than this. It's crazy. I never even understood. Never knew that. So I hope they do a whole lot more of these here. I'm really hoping. And I did. I was just told. I'm not sure if this is true. But I was just told that um, this is recycled materials. I know that the handles are. The resin is. But um, the guy said that. Um, the sales associate said that uh, and all of this. This whole bag is recycled materials. I don't know if that's true. But that's what he said. I'm going to have to look into that. But if it is the case, I will probably go ahead and grab one of these. <gasps> Who is that coughing? Okay, and then we also have Tate Beat. I kind of like this color combo. 
Oh, we have the Sherling beat. This is the most luxurious of all the beat bags. What Coach did with this one, they should have done with all of them, and that is the leather interior. This is way more suede than I realized. It's suede everywhere on the exterior, except the back. Let me check the bottom too. Yep, suede on the bottom too. And the shearling is, of course, gorgeous and soft. I like the color. I like that it's not any lighter than this because that would get very dirty. Oh, I can feel the leather on the other side of this. Let's check out the other side. I like that they did the black details. I think that looks so cool. Black hang tag. Look at this. It's just ridiculous. It's so nice. This is how every beat bag should have looked. Had it, they could have charged hundred more dollars. And then back snobs, leather snobs like me would have gone ahead and grabbed them. But as it is, I don't have mini beats. I have two. And I don't have mini beats because I don't like the fact that the interior is microfiber. These though, this one right here has nice beautiful soft Napa leather interior even the pocket is leather isn't that nice oh this is so nice I'm not into shirtling at all but if I were I'd probably go ahead and grab this and I looked at the tag I think this is 695 700 bucks which I think it should be it's leather everywhere except the interior pocket zip section zippered pocket I mean Somebody hook this up incorrectly. That's so nice. That's so pretty. It's so pretty. And then the regular beats, the inferior beats. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Tate. I was never into the Tate until today when I came in. And they had a little red one. They have a little red one. Look at this adorable bag right here. Look at, look at this bag. I've never been tempted by a Tate bag until this one. Look at this with those big old chunky feet on the bottom. The braided handle. Oh, I really actually like this bag. I think this is Red Apple. That's, we've got the tag here. Candy Apple. Oh wow, Candy Apple, $3.95. By the way, the Tate is all leather, if I'm not mistaken. It's leather in here, in the pocket. The bigger ones have the leather pocket with the magnetic snap closure, really nice. It's a great bag. It's actually a great bag. I've just, it's not really my style, so I've never really gotten into it, but this red one here, I love. I do this too. Still coffee. We're still we're post. Post COVID 19, so I am. Um, I still freak out when I hear a bunch of coughing. Even though it's probably allergies. We've got the holiday metallics over here with this really cool, really large kiss lock bag. And beautiful Amazon green, I think this is. Oh, yay, we have a tag right here. Metallic dark green. This is the soft clutch. The soft KL clutch, don't know what that is. But it's really cool. Lots of space in there. This is a large bag. Listen to this. Oh, that was loud. And it's so soft. It's so nice. I like the metallics. And then we have all the pillows. The new metallic pillows. Silver. And gold. And pink, nude. Don't know what this color is. Really cute. Look at this metallic trail like bag. That's cute. This is cute.
a cute bag. Our swingers, Willis 18s, quilty bags, kip down here. I still want a kip, I think I want red sand. Quilty swingers. Did you see that little kiss lock thing is cute. I don't really buy kiss lock bags though. Look at the cute boots too. I am so into boots, guys. I have such a my boot collection is so much bigger than my regular shoe collection. This takes me back. I'm an 80s baby. This takes me back. These jackets here. <laughs> Cashins. This is nice. I like that. I like the color of this too. Oh, this is new. This actually caught my attention here. It's black. Kind of cute. Kind of cute. Earmuffs. Shirley earmuffs. Yeah, so much great stuff in here. But I am liking this cape. I think I want to try for it next year when it's in the outlet. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's navy. That's cute. I would totally wear that. That's cute. All of their shoes. They brought the jellies back. I think those are sandals. I don't know what the jellies are, but they told me that they brought them back. They brought the socks, boot socks back. Calf hair signature. Cute. Boot socks down there. These feel soft. Those don't feel like leather, actually. They might be, though. I'm not saying they're not. City soles. These are interesting. Shoes. Those look comfortable. The slippers there. Here's the Michael B. Jordan and a friend of his who created this, I think. There it is, there's a sign right there. With the zombie Rexy that I think they should have put out way before, way before um, Halloween. Blue the Grade, that's his name. Very cool. It looks kind of cool. I'm digging the shoes. I totally rock these. Hitch, hitch bag. They have a new hitch out. It has it has not landed here, but it's on the website. And the um, what is it called? What's it called? It's like a signature, a horse and carriage signature velvet over over leather. I don't know what the pattern is called, but it's super cool. It's cute. It's black. They just did a filled tote in it. Uh, yes. Very nice. And it's a hitch and I like it. I like the hitch style already and I'm thinking of getting the uh, the black one that they did. I like the men's bags. The beanies, I love this time of the year also. Sweaters and sweatshirts and joggers and hats, scarves, all that good stuff. These, these are new. It's just the regular long slim card holder, which I love, I'm carrying one now. But it has a little clip-on hardware there so that 
you can clip it onto something. And over here, more man stuff. Really cool. There's the little brief that so many of us like. It's looking smaller than ever right now for some reason. This is the blue one, it's so pretty. Look at this gorgeous red. To the next area. Okay. Doing the walk back to the front. It's so pretty in here. Kind of span the whole area. That's a traffic light, by the way, it looks like with snow. That's cool. I like the background this year. Last year they did a really glittery, like gold, very holiday looking. Okay, so we're in the willows and this of course grabbed my attention. I like, love the willow silhouette, all of them. The willow bucket, the willow shoulder, the willow, everything. They're just so attractive to me. And I really like it in that red color. I like that thick strap, that's what it is. The, it just looks so great and then that the silhouette itself. I like that. I just don't like this cross grain leather or whatever the kind of leather it is. Not a big fan. And it's, it's, I'm not really into bucket like bags though. And if I needed a tote, that would be great, but I don't need any tote because I've got plenty. Okay, here are the alley. Alley. Uh, there we go. Cute. Well, I always have this little thing. I have one of these. I could put that on my alley bag. It's black though. It might not, might not match. But yeah, the alley is still around. And the circle bag, I'm not sure what it's called. But I love that it has a webbed strap, even though some people hate that. Cute little backpack. This is so cute, this little bag here. So cute. This little red bag. And then this one, I don't know what the heck the name of this is. I'm gonna have to look it up online because the tag doesn't even say what the name is. But it's the cutest little bag. It's pretty soft. It would be the perfect travel bag. It would be the perfect travel bag. And this, I guess, is candy apple. Brick red. See, this is the pebbled slam something TL crossbody, and it's not part of the. They said it's not part of the collection, but I'm gonna have to look at it online. Two zippered items. I mean, two zippered areas with the interior where you can stick your passport or phone. This is so nice, and I would remove the long strap, and you can put a rogue strap, a shoulder strap, or any other kind of shoulder strap there, and wear it closer to the body I mean closer you know higher up on the body as a short shoulder it's so nice and it comes in this brick red Amazon green I like this bag guys I'm not really into the New York bags but this is a really nice one what's this I don't know what this is but those are really nice they have those pop-up type of bags I really like this Okay. All right, y'all. I think we've seen everything. I think we've seen everything. Okay, guys. Take care of yourself. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I think a sale's coming up. It starts on the 16th or something like that. I think. I could be wrong, though. Could be wrong. I think that looks so good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, stay tuned for that, not for me, I mean stay tuned to Coach. 
because we're about to see some sales, I believe. So yeah, that'd be great for all of us. Take care of yourselves, hope you enjoyed this. Okay, I'm actually at Macy's here. I don't generally do this, but I'm just combining these two because I was coming through here. I actually made a couple of returns here at Macy's. I happened to come over here and see this studio bag. I see a studio. And since I didn't see one in the boutique when I was just there, this is the same mall, by the way, North Park Mall. I decided to just attach this video because it's the only thing I'm showing. I'm going to attach this video to the coach video because this is this, these are all coach bags. Look at this though. These are completely, these are locked together. So I can't look at this one or try it on without asking somebody to come unlock these. But look, since they're here, same size. Soft tabby and studio are the same size. The studio is bigger than I was hoping it would be. This thing is kind of large. But I love that they're doing the gray stitching on the black now. I really like that. And like I thought, it would. It has microfiber interior. And I don't think this is glove tan leather. And also, <laughs> I'm seeing things. Okay, studio is definitely not for me. It's super cute though, but it's larger than I normally like. I figured that I would have a problem with this. It's not too bad. I showed you in the video in the boutique the wallet. And this is actually not bad. See, I did it with one hand. Not bad at all. Oh, it is glove tan leather. It is glove tan leather, but it's kind of, it's kind of stiff. It's kind of stiff. I do like the the lock here, and also this is a key inside. One second. I can't take it out very well, but please excuse my ashy hands. There's a key in there that actually can work with this that to me is the coolest thing about the bag but on um, the interior looks like a cassie or any of the other three compartment bags that coach has been doing over the last couple of years microfiber interior it is glove tan material kids so that's good that's good and that that lock does sound pretty great however i like the turn lock much better than that I like the turn lock better. And I don't like the fact that the straps cannot be removed. So this is only and ever a crossbody. That's it. See the tag is right over here. I wish Macy's was not hooking these two together. This is again the studio. Glove tan leather studio shoulder bag. Shoulder bag? This is not a shoulder bag. It does adjust by the way. The strap does adjust, however, how is this a shoulder bag? This is a crossbody. Unless I missed a strap in the side, I didn't because this does not, this can't be removed. Okay, so it's, it's, it's not structured. This actually reminds me, this feels like the Dreamer shoulder bag. The most recent Dreamer shoulder bag, what else? I'm trying to give you an idea of what this reminds me of. It's definitely the Dreamer shoulder bag, what else? Um, the Parker, I guess, but with glove tan leather. Not the Parker. Anyway, it's it's a nice bag, but definitely not for me. You see those three, three little, little sections there? How they do one giant middle and then one little pocket-like and then back pocket-like thing. All right, so that's that. I am not... I won't be buying any of the studio bags. It's a great bag. I'm sure people will love it, but I think the key in the lock might be one of the main draws, in my opinion, which is super cool. I hope they add that more to more, but I don't really like this. It's too much. I have to push it in and raise it. A push lock. I don't like that. And I figured I wouldn't, so I wasn't planning to add the studio anyway. Anyway, that's it, guys. That's the studio bag. So yeah, I took a picture of it, that's why. If I ever just pause for no reason, it's because I took a picture. And I actually still like the, I still like this better. Soft, soft what you call it better, soft tabby. I cannot talk guys, I'm tired and I'm hungry. <laughs> and also there's a lot of stuff going on around me, an escalator right behind me. Anyway, this is the studio bag guys, really cool. It's pretty cool, but definitely not for me. Anyway, take care of yourselves, bye again.